go big or go home, is a call to think boldly and take big risks. And sometimes that's what we must do. However, we must also remember to focus on all the little things that prepare us to succeed when we go big. Otherwise, our bold effort will likely end in spectacular failure. Today's Morning Minutes in the Bible on Throwback Thursday reaches back to August 1981 for some thoughts on the necessity of good decisions in all the little things. From Plain Talk Magazine, Think Little by Dan Shipley. Power to choose is one of the distinctive traits of rational man, unregenerate or otherwise. In fact, practically all that he does reflects decision and exercise of will. Essentially, man is the product of his own decisions. As someone has well noted, our character is but the stamp on our souls of the free choices of good and evil we have made through life. That makes most every choice potentially important, and even more so when consequences are considered. Today's alcoholic may remember how it seemed a small thing when he took his first social drink. Now, having lost his family, friends, his job, and even his self-respect, he is living proof that such little decisions can have big consequences. It's the same with the young unwed mother who saw no harm in a little promiscuous petting. Too late, she realizes that choice and consequences are a package deal. Like these, many others have come to see just how big some little decisions can turn out to be. It's no different in the spiritual realm. In Matthew 25, for instance, we read of the judgment scene in which some hear the crushing verdict, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. Why? because they had neglected ministering little things to the least of these. No big deal, they may have reasoned, What's a little drink of water or a visit, especially when it involves one of the unimportant brethren. As it turns out, it is a decision to do the same to Christ. Is it not possible that many modern disciples repeat this mistake? And if so, would they not share a similar fate? Obviously, man's nature has not changed all that much. Discounting our decisions and deeds in spiritual matters is still a big problem for many. They fail to see that every choice and every deed says something about our spiritual character. A straw will show which way the wind blows or the water flows. And there are many little straws in our daily lives that show which way we are moving spiritually. They reveal my love for Christ and my respect for his authority or the absence of it. Not only in how I treat the least of these, but in how I treat my family, my fellow man, my enemies, and in a hundred other ways. The message of such straws could tell us much about ourselves if we would only listen. But not only do these seemingly small choices and acts say something about us, they do something to us. The deliberate decision to do wrong or not to do right in one point, James 2 verse 10, weakens and increases our vulnerability in other points. With David's looking upon the bathing woman came the lusting, the inquiry, the sending for her, the adultery, the lying, and finally the murder of Uriah. Most of what we call big sins comes from small launching pads where there was little or no harm seen. These apparent insignificant beginnings are mostly where Satan gains the advantage. For this reason, we must learn that what appears to be no big deal may be and that just this one time does make a difference. Indeed, no decision should be considered little that involves our relationship with God. Contrary to what you have heard, think little. Excellent advice from an old gospel preacher who's gone to his reward. What are the little decisions that are coming back to bite you today? Well, it's just a little thing, but I truly appreciate you watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.